All right, guys, I am out here back on the single track, and uh, I got to test out the Stark Varg on single the other day, but I haven't got to test out this Suron Ultra B anywhere besides uh, the turn track and the moto track. So it's been my first time ever taking it on single. So any thoughts that flow off my lips is just kind of first impressions. Um, and sometimes my first impressions are wrong. I find out later in the ride or uh, the next ride. So keep that in mind as well. Um, I love this bike. And I think this bike makes really good sense for somebody that, that just wants a dirt bike, isn't racing motocross. Uh, it's half the price of the Stark Park. I think this thing's around seven grand. And uh, it's twice the power of the Light B. It's very peppy, it's uh, it's fun, it's light. If there's any complaints I have so far about this machine, it's how skatey it feels at speed on a motocross track or a turn track. And that's because, I mean, that's because how skinny the rear wheel is. But that's an easy upgrade. I'm thinking this bike could be one of the most ultimate single track bikes available. Because I'm telling you, Whoa, I'm telling you, on some of this stuff out here, I felt faster on the uh, on the Suron Light B than I did on my 300. And the Light B was just lacking in power. And this thing's got that power. So, let me tell you, the only thing that's messed with my head on this are the brakes. Um, when I have two levers on the bar like this, uh, and I know they're both brakes, my brain wants to tell me that um, the front brake is on the uh, left, like a mountain bike, because that's the only other bike I ride with both brakes on the bars. And uh, I'm trying to get my brain trained not to worry about that, but it's just uh, hasn't happened yet. So I find myself mashing the rear brake here on the left or missing it with my foot down at the bottom since there's nothing there and I find myself hardly able to even use this front brake. So I'll try to work on that today. A little jump there. The suspension on this thing, I'm super impressed. Like I didn't expect it to be so good. I was flat landing, casing jumps on the moto track and it was soaking it up and I'm 220. I'm way too heavy for stock suspension on anything. Obviously the Varg, is quick through this kind of stuff too but i can already tell you this thing's quicker whoa and you got to remember that because of that skinnier rear tire you're not going to brake as quick either oh wrong way The Stark Varg feels quiet, like it feels, feels eerily quiet to ride single track on these things. But this is even quieter than the Varg. I just guess just because of the weight. This is really nasty right here, guys. Uh oh. All right, so I'm just spinning right there where the Varg had enough weight. I was able to kind of propel myself out of there and plus it had that much better tire but let me show you where this bike's gonna shine if you get a problem yeah you just do that it's as simple as that I can tell you if I did own this thing I know it would kill a little bit of power but I don't think I care if I did own this thing the first thing I would do is the uh, wider rear tire. I think I'd do, just go ahead and do a wheel set. I'd do 21 front, 18 rear, put some regular dirt bike tires on it. Even if it's not like a moto tire, you could do like a trial tire or something. Doesn't have to have huge knobs on it. So the, the power delivery seems a little smoother on the Stark. It's like maybe the software and everything is more advanced. Not 
sure I'm not getting a flat or something. Okay. The, uh, it's very easy to slide this rear wheel. Notice that already. By the way, guys, I'm filming on GoPro Hero 12, 1080p, 120 FPS, uh, Super View. Just started shooting with the Hero 12 last week. I like it pretty well. It's just the Hero 11 with some extra features and uh, the GPS removed, which is the biggest bummer, but. Of course, this thing comes stock with the hand guards on it, which are pretty cool. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had enough ground clearance for that or not. I like the size of the motorcycle, I can tell you that. I like the size. I like the power. This, whoa, this thing only lacks in stability. No problem, even a guy my size to kind of just get back on the bike and wheelie over stuff. If you look at this bike from the from the side, it doesn't look like it's got much ground clearance, but it's going over all the logs I need to on this trail. Here's another one we gotta go over. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Here's a kind of a tough hill climb here. It's pretty steep and it's got some roots and stuff in it. Some full-size bikes have trouble on this. No problem. Now let's take this side of the mountain. I think once my brain gets this braking situation down, it'll be like ultimate with both hand brakes on the uh, bars. I thought about getting the Stark with both hand brakes on the bars, but I, was, I knew I'd still be jumping off, on and off gas bikes, and I think that could be disastrous if you're riding pretty much the same style all the time. But. Jumping on and off when the 20 other bikes in my garage have foot brakes. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's like a vine. I thought that was barbed wire. Big 180 rut here. There is a tree up here that I think is too tall for the ground clearance on this thing. Oh, that was really close. I do plan on doing a um, a full battery range test on this thing at some point, but this one doesn't belong to me. I'm just borrowing it. Shout out to Bailey Jack for letting me use this thing to make these videos for you guys. Um, I'll get an idea of the range today, but to do a full test, I have to do that here, hopefully sometime in the next few weeks.
you if you drop one of these wheels off the edge of the track it uh it's pretty much no going back guys uh i don't think i've talked about it in this video but in in the other videos i've done on this thing uh this thing needs a 21 inch front wheel it's got a 19 21s are going to be way better off-road if you're doing a mixture of like off-road and like hooligan stuff on the pavement you might like the 19 if you're doing purely off-road like me you're on 21 which will make the bike sit up a little higher too got to be real careful down this because there's a lot of holes and stuff like that one and they swallow the wheels of the 21 inch bikes 21 inch front so they could actually absolutely catapult me over the front on this thing in my opinion this bike is for the guy that is gonna like never knows what he's going to do on a motorcycle from one day to the next he might ride trails with his friends he might maybe the next day you're chasing your kids around following them on their bikes maybe you need a pit bike maybe you're in a neighborhood and you need a fun bike but it needs to be silent this is it man um little sandbar right here Not that you can't get rowdy on this thing and uh, do some gnarly stuff, because you can. But if that's all you're doing all the time, like motocross and ow, uh, then you might be better off with the start. You gotta keep this in mind too. Almost for what you get to start, you can buy two of these. But, I want to put out a little disclaimer of information here, guys. Um, I don't know about Suron, the company, but Suron, the U.S. distributor, is very hard to deal with, and they do not have any love or support for motorcycle dealers at all, which is why most of these Surons you see for sale will be in... Uh, electric only dealerships and things like that that's what they want um i've talked to them i've dealt with them they, they they were a nightmare to deal with um they don't want anything to do with the bicycle community and they don't want anything to do with the motorcycle community uh, which i don't know if they think their riders just sprung up out of pods in the ground or what um but all the riders came from one of those two community so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go into any more detail about my experience with them but if supporting people that like that are that are fans of the motorcycle industry is important to you it's a big hill climb guys and you might just want the start i have no idea where Tolaria or anybody like that stands um Beta's got their new Explorer, which is like the Apollo clone. And uh, maybe you might consider supporting Beta with that. So, not that this isn't an awesome machine. Maybe Suron as a company doesn't feel the same way. But, uh, just trust me on this one. So, here's my uh, conclusive statement, guys. This thing is fast. It's, it's plenty fast enough for any single. It's uh, plenty fast enough for any quad trail, anything like that. You're not gonna have any issues with power, even if you're a heavier guy like me. What you have to keep in mind is that it's going to feel skatey in stock in stock form it's going to feel skatey both wheels are going to feel skatey i recommend if you're going to get one of these and do this kind of stuff you budget in a set of off-road wheels 
Besides that, this machine is awesome. I'll try to go over like the dash and some some little tips and tricks and stuff like that uh, in another video. This is just kind of riding first impression on single track, guys. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate these videos, grab whatever parts you can from AOMC. We have Suron parts on AOMC.mx. Grab your parts. We'd appreciate it so much. Use the link in my description. It will mean a lot to me. I don't see who buys what, but I see that you guys are buying stuff. It means a lot. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.